Hi everyone. I have got something a little bit different today. I have been challenged by another YouTube artist here, or an artist who has a YouTube channel, Katherine Babcock of Artistic Insanity. She has challenged me to see if I can create something wispy on a light switch cover. <laughs> so, all right, I've decided, Catherine, I think you just wanted to see if I'm willing to make a fool of myself on YouTube, but guess what? <laughs> Making a fool of myself has never been an issue for me. I'm good with that. <laughs> so, so we're going to see how this goes. Um, yeah, I, this is not going to be easy. Uh, Kat, by the way, um, you all should check out Catherine's channel. I'll put a link in my um, description box down below for it. She's doing a series right now on alternative things that you can paint on, uh, the, other than just Yupo paper. You know, things that you might want to do to do your own home decor. Uh, she has done only two so far, but you know, she's, I think there's around, she said there's gonna be around 12 in the series when she gets done. So, um, you definitely want to subscribe to her channel to see because I know a little bit of what's coming up and some of it is definitely going to be worth watching. Um, I'm sure all of it will be worth watching, but some of it I'm really looking forward to. Um, these, she did these in her, the most recent one that she did. I'm sorry if y'all are moving around my table. I keep it leveled, but I think one of the girls has knocked my little pieces of wood I had under the table leg out. Um, she just did one on these light switch covers and different ways that you could use alcohol inks on them to decorate them up. And, well, you know, trying to do wispy was one of them that she was doing and she wasn't really satisfied, I think, with the way that hers turned out. So she challenged me to see if I could do one. Uh, so I'm going to give it a shot. And this is going to be very hard, first of all, because I'm used to working on this size, not this size. So this is going to, just the smallness of it is going to be a challenge for me. But then you've also got these holes in it and the edges are sloped. In fact, the whole thing kind of slopes down from about here back. And so that's going to add a whole new uh, twist to trying to work the paint. That and the the holes in it are definitely going to be a challenge. So, we'll see. I'm um, just going to do this straight up. I'm not going to do a voiceover for this one. So, I apologize. You will be hearing my dryer a little bit in this. Um, I may end up having to resort to a straw or just blowing on it eventually we'll see i'm not sure the the power from my dryer may end up just i may end up having ink splattered on the wall behind my table um all right so i picked one of my favorite color combinations because i'm totally out of my comfort zone here i'm at least going to go with my my comfortable colors so we're going with purple twilight stream and wild plum uh all by ranger the tim holtz ranger line and my pinata brass. There is nothing mixed with this. It's just straight pinata brass out of the. I just get it in big bottles because I use so much. And so I put it in there to use it. And I've got 91% alcohol today. So, alright. Yeah, I'm. I'm still. I'm chattering so I can. You know, my brain's working in the background trying to figure out the best way oops, to go about this to start it. Because I don't know. Um, sorry, I'm trying to do some mess here. I've been working on some other projects. I'm sorry that it has been a while since I got a video up. I have just, I've been so busy that I'm barely having time to paint, period. And I've been trying to um, work on my website, which I've been trying to work on forever. I am just not good at web design, so I, I just know nothing about it, so I'm having a really tough time with it. So anyway, I will try to do better. I hopefully 
um, after this one, I've got a video that I want to do about using resin on paintings. So that's just straight up pouring resin on, no other embellishment or anything like that. It's just, um, I've had some questions from people who haven't ever used resin before about how to mix it and, you know, the amounts that you need to use, um, things like that. So, so I'm going to just do a straight up tutorial on that one day very soon, I hope. Hope I can find time to do it. I'm already looking forward to summer vacation from school, so maybe I'll actually have time to work on my painting a little bit more than I have been here lately. Those of you all who are <clears throat> who work who work full time and have kids at home still that are small and are trying to do art, wow, my hat's off to you all because I don't even work outside the home. I mean, I homeschool the girls which takes up, you know, a good portion of our day, but not as long as a full work day does. And I still, um, I feel like I'm so lucky to get time to do anything these days. It's just, uh, too much going on. Too much to do. All right, I have to get a sip of coffee, get myself geared up here, and let's see what happens. Alright, so I'm sorry if this is going to be loud. I'm going to um, use my dryer for a minute. <laughs> sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. The best way to tackle this, to approach it. Get some brass on here, too. Oh, I'm getting some neat little fractals coming off there. A little, That's really cool. Maybe I should have just left it like that. Although that would defeat the whole wispy challenge. <laughs> Alright, so here, ah, my little thing's gone. There's going to be a little tricky, I think. It doesn't want to slide evenly over the edge. Now I'm trying to decide whether to go ahead and try and do this wispy or to just add some more ink and I think I'm going to go ahead and add the ink. Yeah, I've already mixed up my lid colors. That's great. So, um, in case you all missed it in any of my other videos, best way to figure that out is to put a little alcohol on a Q-tip, a little, little cotton swab Q-tip and just swirl it around inside your lid and then you can see which color it was that that was in the lid. Trying to go very sparingly on the ink here. This tiny little surface. Yes. I don't want all my stuff running off the side. Oh come on, look at that. <laughs> So something else I wasn't expecting is it's drying much faster on this than on you both. I could probably come up with a really interesting painting underneath this by the time I get done. See, I've got some little fingers there, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. 
um, because I'll be coming back around to see what I can do about kind of softening this up a little bit anyway, make it a little bit wispier. to get some on the corner down there where it didn't want to cover it. Let's see. I'm sorry if that dryer is driving y'all crazy, but um, so I wanted, I wanted Catherine to say I wasn't cheating. <laughs> so I'll do it all at one time. So I need I need y'all's help with this. I have to think of some way that I can challenge Catherine back. Something that she's gonna have to try to do that might push her out of her comfort zone. So y'all have to help me think up some good ideas for something I can can challenge Catherine with. Oop, wrong thing. So what I'm trying to do right now is just mostly get it spread out and get the surface covered and then I'm going to go back and try to soften it all. I'm wondering if I'm making a mistake with this, but luckily I have three more. <laughs> Although the great thing is you can, this is just like working on tile, you can uh, just wipe it off super easy with some alcohol and start over. Um, so I've heard. I've never worked on tile, so I, uh, I'm going by what I've heard. And there it goes. I'm just going to go back, trying to decide if I want to go back with straight out. No, you know what? We're just going to bling this up good since I'm having fun playing with this. All right, this is something that you all probably have not seen me do much that I do every now and then on um, some of my paintings if I don't feel like there's enough gold in it and if I'm wanting to blend it a little bit more I will once I get everything down before I start kind of blending and softening some of this I'll just put down a couple of drops of the brass and then some the alcohol and no ink added to it although sometimes I'll add the ink too but um, I'll just do it just with the brass and the alcohol and it softens your edges 
I'm going to talk about a painting here now. I've never tried it on this, but softens your edges and gives you more metallic in it at the same time. So we'll find out how it works on a plastic light switch cover. Ooh, way more than I meant to. All running off. I'm trying not to keep that dryer running constantly to drive y'all insane, so. Um, but it's gonna be going for just a minute now because I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna keep trying to move pretty quickly to get on around here if I can. Though you notice you gotta be careful. If you get it close to the edge at all, it just wants to run straight off the edge. I got too much gold on that one. Yeah. Alright, I had to put some more ink on there because I just about I lost all my purple right there that I was trying to keep. may end up having to do the same thing right here. Jeez. <laughs> Scoop some up. Well, I thought I was going to leave my dryer running, but... I don't, these little white spots are bugging me, so I'm trying to fill that in a little. Not really helping. <sighs> edges are really hard to cover, just so y'all know. In case you try this yourself. Let's see. I'm going to put a little more purple in here. I feel like Gonna need something to help right there a little. Drip off. quiet for a minute. If you missed it at the beginning, this is a challenge from my wonderful friend, Catherine Babcock from Artistic Insanity, um, who challenged me to try to do a wispy painting on a light switch cover. So, that is what I'm doing, or attempting. I'm not sure where to, uh, you know, I can actually do it yet, but I'm fairly happy with the way this is turning out so far. I'm not sure if it's what Catherine had in mind, but um, 
I'm pretty happy with the way it's looking anyway. I don't like having to put these over at the edge because I know I'm going to lose this, right? I'm about there. That did not go as planned. Too much blue. And there it all goes. Get grief. Come back here. Oops. Now I may have too much purple. Paintbrush would probably work a lot better picking this up, but this is okay. I just need little tiny spots here and there. Oops. And then I make the places I need more. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. Well, there you go. I'm pretty happy with it. Considering how far outside of my comfort zone this pushed me. So, there's my, uh, my response to my challenge from Catherine Babcock from Artistic Insanity. So, Catherine, be sure you let me know what you think. If I lived up to the challenge or should I try for something wispier? Uh, I could have gotten this a little bit softer if I kept messing with it, I think, but I, I just didn't want to end up pushing all of my ink off of the, um, mm-hmm, this thing, light switch cover, <laughs> so, all right, can you all see that? I, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks good. There's a, you know, a couple little spots that if it were a painting, I would probably, well, actually, no, I probably wouldn't. There's a, if I would probably work on, but I might not. Um, some of those things that you see as mistakes, they, um, they just add something to your painting sometimes. You just never know. All right, so Catherine, I appreciate the challenge. I really do. Because sometimes it takes somebody doing something like that to make me try something new. So I appreciate it. And there is my response to your challenge. So let me know what you all think. Catherine, let me know what you think. And you all help me think of something that I can uh, challenge Catherine with. Something that she has to paint on or uh, a certain type of painting or something. Alright, well I will be back with you all soon. Thank you for watching another video. Thank you all for all of you all who have subscribed. I know I've got quite a few new subscribers just over the last week or so. And uh, I usually try not to have it be quite so many days between paintings, but sometimes it is because I just don't have the time to to get to the the voiceover. Even when I have time to do the painting, then I've still got you know two to three times more time than that just to get the video ready to get on YouTube. So 
but I will try my best to have another one up after this, just within the next few days after this one. I will be back with y'all soon. Bye!